Hi, I'm Heidi Mendez Harrison, and I'm thrilled that you are taking this walk down hallways, this virtual walk of stories from Juvie. I volunteered in two detention centers in Utah, and the kids I met there were amazing. They changed my life. They affectionately called me Rapping Grandma. I asked them to write their autobiographical raps, poems, monologues, stories. And they asked me, who cares? And I said, I do. And a lot of people out there are going to care too. And I promised them that their voices would be heard. So I received so many writings and we gifted them a performance of their writings with, with young actors and hearing and seeing their stories performed just validated them and empowered them. And the result was cathartic. We also put their stories in a book behind these walls. And now we're presenting this multimedia experience with new actors so that their voices will be heard and my promise is kept. I wish I could credit every single soul that donated generously a beautiful piece of writing. But due to confidentiality restrictions, we can only put the name of the lockup unit. But I know these kids' names, and I know their faces, and their spirits, and their stories are indelibly stamped on my heart. God, are you there? I've been asking for so long. Will it be dramatic Jurassic when I'm gone? God. 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 God, are you still are you there? there? God, are you there? I've been asking for so long. Will it be dramatic Jurassic when I'm gone? Jurassic. 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 Will it be dramatic Jurassic when I'm gone? Jurassic when I'm gone? Behind these walls, people just don't understand what some of us go through. Some say that we're just reckless kids and that we never should have been born. But what they don't know is that we're just lost in an ever-growing world. Always changing. And because of one decision, it can wreck our lives. When I woke up this morning, I was locked in a cage. I missed my performance, I would've broke the stage. Now I can't even shave, can't even taper my fade. Yeah, they know me by name, but my title's replaced. I hope this place is a phase just to inspire a phrase. And these words that I lay help one change one's pace in this whacked out world that we view as a race. I hope you listen and take what may change your state. All I see are blank walls, caged in like an animal. Convinced myself I did just what I had to do. In reality, my actions were that of a radical. A couple screws loose, and all I want to do is smack a fool. Liar. That's what he called me, among other things, but liar was the last word he called me. Watching TV with my little sisters. 
you liar. That's the word that came from him. You liar. Liar. You big fat liar. That's what he kept repeating. The other timer goes off. I ask permission if I could get my sister's dinner. I mean, you don't care about anybody else but yourself, but if you want to, go ahead. Tears stung my eyes, but I pull myself back together because I don't want my sisters to see me cry. Sitting down for dinner. You liar. I mean, you are such a liar. You know that, right? Tears streaming down my face. Oh, oh come on. Stop being a baby. You liar. He gets up and leaves. I grab a notebook. I write down, I'm sorry to my friends and family, but not to him. Tears streaming down my face, I grab a bottle of pills, but he calls for my name, so I put the bottle of pills down. He asks me a question. I don't know what he asks. He comes back, slap. Stop being such a baby, you liar, slap. I try to pull away, but he pulls me back. I scream for my godmother and just slap after slap, backhand after backhand, and finally he throws me to the floor and kicks me through. You liar and brat. He leaves, leaving me to clean up my own mess. Sneaking up the stairs, I call the cops. And finally, the cops arrive with my mama. And finally, I am free to go live with my mama. I am free from being called a liar and I am free from the abuse. But mostly, I am free from him. My father. I messed up, I feel like I have been to hell and back A lot of people on me flat like I'm a welcome mat These memories, I'm just holding on to them so close Writing by myself, got me talking to a ghost This pistol on my hip, don't know mobbing through the city Paranoid, everybody out there trying to get me My body full of tattoos and different war wounds Fighting battles through the streets and fighting battles in the courtrooms And some days I swear that I don't wanna live Put a rose inside my brother's casket before I close the lid Man, I'm living close to the edge Trying not to let this gang thing go to my head Sitting at the cemetery with this pistol to my temple Everyone know we said, let this boy have potential I just wanna go back Doing life was so simple. My beautiful baby. I'm 16 and you are currently in my stomach. I want you to know that I love you. Your mama loves you more than everybody else. And I know that your daddy loves you too. I'm young. I ran away from the system and I married your daddy. <laughs> and now I have you, our first baby. I'm in detention right now. I've been torn away from your daddy. My last sight of him, he, his voice was cracking and his eyes were brimming with tears. I was put in the cop car and I cried really, really hard. I love your daddy. 
My beautiful baby, I will not put you through what I went through. I promise you, I will protect you from harm's way. I will love you and I will nurture you. I will hold you on your weakest days. And I will raise you to be the most beautiful, most best child in the world. Your daddy is amazing. <laughs> he loves me and you more than anybody ever has. He's the most kindest, sweetest man. He wants nothing more than a family. He works hard. Your daddy's Russian and he is the best looking guy I've ever met. <laughs> I love him more than anybody will ever know. Family first. We want the best for you. We want to love you and nurture you. We want to give you all the love, all the love that we never had as a kid. I was born into this world all wrong. We'll give you plenty of food, shelter, clothes, love, love, hope. It'll be a beautiful future. A beautiful future awaits you, Sveta. You'll experience life in a wonderful way. We'll be with you till the end. We'll give you all the happiness and the love that you deserve. <laughs> we love you. Daddy loves you. We want a family. And you will have a brother and sister one day. We are awaiting your arrival with love and anticipation. Love your mom and dad. I thought I was cool, turned out a fool. Sparked up that joint to get to that point. Put in that acid to make my brain melt like plastic. I saw what it was doing to me, but blocked out the help. Scared the system would take me, but the drugs already did. I did that X and everyone asked why. I told them it was for help. The help I cried for at night. I thought I was cool, but turned out a fool. A fool that believed she was loved by her tool dad. I hated that pain. My dad was insane. Telling me lies to manipulate my mind. He told me, we're not blood, so it doesn't count. I knew it was wrong, but he told me it was right. I thought he was supposed to protect me. What happened to that life? 
I thought I was cool, but I turned out a fool. A fool who took charge and told on the real fool. Took the help that the system was offering. Now, not scared of the guy that first offered. I ran, got raped, found out I was pregnant, turned myself in to fix the situation I was in. Now, getting out without any sign from that fool who once told me, I love you, my fairy tale princess. One pause, two pause, three pause, four. My blood is falling on the floor. Caught after cut, people calling me a whore, a slut. My judge looks at me, in my eyes, she sentenced me 30 days. I wish she saw more than what's on that piece of paper. I wish you knew more. I hear them upstairs yelling. I hear a thud. I run upstairs. She's crying, yelling, stop, stop. He hits her again. Scream, I tried to stop him, but he's too big. It finally stops. It keeps going on for eight years. Then he just walks out one day leaving us with nothing but fears and tears. Me and my twin sister hear our mom cry for hours. She's stuck paying for food, the house, the heat, and water. She's left with four children, roommates after roommates. Then one day I wake up I, I hear them yelling, get out, come on, let's go. We run out of the house. I'm, I'm scared and clueless. I watch the fire burn our house. Now we're left with nothing. Five living in a two bedroom trailer. My life is empty. I inhale the green night after night. I become violent to my family and to my body. I become defiant. I just keep getting in trouble. My cutting gets worse. It turns into suicide notes laying on the bed while I lay passed down, passed out on the floor. There's blood everywhere. I hear my sister yell. She calls 911 while she's telling me that she loves me and to keep breathing. I wake up in hospital, but that's, that's not the last time. Scars cover my body. Program after program, court after court. When will I learn? When will I learn the voices get louder the more I try to ignore them? I'm tired of seeing my mom, my beautiful mom cry. I love her so much. It's time for me to change. (sighs) 
See, I bet if you saw me, you would have never guessed. Now, what do you think? Now, would you call me names? Now, would you lock me up? Add that to your piece of paper. I see a kid selling to feed his mom's needs. He wants her to love him, so he does what he can to make her smile. After a long day's work, he lies in bed thinking about whether he should go back to school and get his life back on track. Then he has a flashback to his mom's loving smile back before she got into her dangerous days. A single tear drops, but he wipes it away and stays strong. The days fly by and he gets caught up. He's sent to the South Lake Valley Detention Center for two weeks. He looks at the same walls that his older brother looked at when he was younger. The whole two weeks, all he can think about are his mom's loving smile and the way she used to hold him. The same tear drops, but he wipes it away and tries to stay strong. Then comes his day in court. The law orders him to attend school again. This time he's getting off easy, but next time it won't be. When he gets home, his mom is laid out on the floor. He calls out her name. Mom? Mom? No response. He runs to the phone. Hello, 911? My mom's OD'd. Help. When he hangs up, the same tear drops, but he wipes it away and tells himself, be strong. Sitting in the emergency room, his mom wakes up. Son? He looks shocked. Son, is that you? He smiles and says, yes, mom, it's me. He takes her by the hand and tells her, please stop, mom. It's not too late. She looks away and says, good night. The next hour, they're home and the mom is doing the same things. He goes up to his room and thinks, I will not help her no more. She comes into the room and says, give me some money. He responds, Sorry, I can't help you kill yourself no more. She yells, fine, that's okay. Remember who brought you into this world? And slams the door. He goes to sleep an hour later because he has school. The next morning, he wakes up and she's lying on the couch. He looks and sees her face is blue. She OD'd and died. The very same tear drops, but he can't wipe it away. More and more come. And that's the story of the last tear. <laughs> Paint a pretty picture of when I got abused and my dad used alcohol as an excuse. No one told me that the struggle would be real and I just wish I could not feel. I got locked up when I was 13, still getting locked up now I'm 15, moving on to 16. <laughs> Gotta get my shit straight before the judge decides my fate. It's too late to get rid of all the hate. When I see my mama at the courtroom, it makes me cry Just for her to tell me that I'm never trying My tears are slowly draining and I'm starting to lose hope Now I know why people use dope So they can get out some of that pain And then we as a society use their name in vain <laughs> We as a society use their name in vain We as a society use their name in vain <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror, wondering why I'm so angry. Maybe it's the way my own father used to touch me, or maybe the fact that I had to grow up too fast. Or maybe it's the fists of all the guys that I thought I loved, or maybe it's all of the above. Either way, 
I was angry. Angry at myself. Angry at every face I see. Angry at the world. So I put this bottle to my lips, cut through my throat like razor blades, staring at the bruises that run down my side. I don't know where I'll sleep tonight. Mom's crying, wondering where I am and if I'm alive after all these weeks. I'm too ashamed to look at my loving mother in the eyes. So I snort these rocks, bodies hating me right now, but I hate all this pain. But no one will ever guess my smile and laugh will deceive you. But if you look in my eyes, you'll see the raging wildfire burning inside of me. Then something snaps in me. I chuck my poison and I go into the night and I run to the only place I feel safe, home. The devil is still on my shoulder, but he will never take over my soul. What it is. Scared before I set foot in the courthouse, said I'm guilty, but as quiet as a mouse. Put me in shackles, led me to my holding cell. I sat and realized this is hell. Transported, is this where I really want to be? No, but they gave me the binder and the paper and said, welcome to DT. In this world, I'm just a maggot, where kids get jumped and labeled faggots. I can't sleep, I just want to fall, because out here I can't catch a ball. Every 10 minutes, people peeping in my window, all because I wanted to rush up off that endo. Sat in my room thinking about my death, wondering if someone would care about my last breath. Even though I know I'm not here to stay, still keeping my thoughts, thinking of a better day. Kids, mom shooting up hair on, and that gives them the reason to find sadness to dwell on. Other dads kick them to the curb, so they don't even go to school to learn a word. So they put me in here after smoking a tree, feeding off the staff like a bunch of fleas. Just know that you're not like the rest. It's time to step up and do your best. Your parents' influence isn't you. You could be anything, just keep it true. And this is just what it is. Your changes and problems are no one else's biz. Your pain won't last that long, so you do your best to stay strong. It became a part of my life, zoning out. Hearing my mother shout, not knowing why or what about. As a child, me and my big brother were nothing short of wild. Sugar was our fuel. As mama said, thank God for school. As years passed, my stepdad came into the picture. Different cultures, different ways of trying to fit into the family mixture. Instead of talking to or getting sent to our room, we got the belt or the opposite end of the broom. At 17, my big brother wouldn't take the beatings anymore. He packed his stuff and just walked out the door. Now I was the oldest kid in the house, but my voice was silenced like an exposed mouse, not knowing how to cope. I zoned out for the most part. Staying out of his way is how I'd stay. And one day I decided I would fight back. But don't assume because that day I just got my first pack. Cigarettes turned into weed. My anger, I'd feed. Soon that became my only emotion along with being completely numb. Grades began to fall. My stepdad saying overnight, she's just went dumb. On the night of my 16th birthday, words turned to a yell. He told the police downstairs, I tripped and fell, but we all know this was a lie. But my mom wouldn't dare testify. I went to my room not having a door to slam because he took it off the hinges. I packed some clothes, left out the window, and attended to my weekend alcohol binges. After three days, I returned, refusing to leave my little brother alone and scared. I'd kill that man if he hit Elijah, even if he dared. At times, I dreamed of how life would be if my real dad were here, thinking I'd never have anything to fear. But then I remembered why he's been gone. 
locked behind bars for way too long. Institutionalized was all he knew besides the streets and his gang. Instead of taking care of us, he sold dope and went out to bang. Now looking back, I was so mad for so many reasons, but things changed by the seasons. I was more than defiant, I was rebellious. Hanging with the big fellas. Earned myself three felonies and countless misdemeanors, being stupid, hiding behind this imaginary mask, not wanting to deal with the scars from my past. I sit staring at these cell walls, feeling used and abused, wasting my life in the place of the accused. When will I learn? What will it take? Until I figure it out, this smile, I'll remain to fake. Everyone has trials and tribulations. Steer clear from those deadly temptations. Feeling lost, abandoned, and misunderstood. Things you gotta live with growing up in the hood. Always got shit on your mind, always up to no good. Let me tell you something my mama told me. Keep your head up and do right. We'll never be free. Never be fooled by the lies in the air. Life ain't easy. And it sure ain't fair. This is a letter to the people that I love. God didn't do it, neither did the drugs. Why? Because I've been in it for a minute. My life is at its peak and now it's time for me to finish. I've been on my knees, even done some drugs and trees, but nothing seems to work because my thoughts are enemies. And I don't believe that I've been deceived in what I've been given, but my mind is open and I'm hoping that in death we receive a new beginning. I'm beginning to grip this faith. It's too late to try and save me. I've been on this road for so long, I'm going crazy. The future's getting hazy and everything is lost. I'm sorry to my mama for the pain that I have caused. A million things I saw and so many things I've learned. But this is my fate, maybe one that I have earned. Burn into my mind is the contract that I've signed, so I'm taking this opportunity to go ahead and die. You don't know, so don't try to understand. Gun in my hand and I'm ready to pull the trigger. Blinded by the light, but the situation's bigger. I figure I'm here, but I won't be for long. So this one is for my family, my last and final song. Cross my heart and hope to die. Two McDoubles and a large fry. Every night I lay awake, I pray that these pills my life will take. I'm broken and I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm not a tragically lovely poem. I am not a melancholy song. I am brave and I am strong. I've been right and I've been wrong. But the one thing I've never been is silent. I'm sick of using my inside voice, my chapel reverend quiet voice, when the topic of mental illness occasionally emerges from polite conversation. We speak candidly of inflation, of medical complications, but we don't acknowledge the suffocation we feel from just trying to admit that we exist. We want to be seen. The silence needs to be cut with a scream. I am 19 years old, and nearly everyone I know has at least thought about killing themselves. We're brushed off as dramatic, called too sensitive, praised when we're manic, told to suck it up when we're depressive, pushed to the point where the idle youth becomes aggressive, not with each other, but ourselves. 
We are each waging a war in our minds, and it sometimes feels like only a matter of time before the white flag of surrender appears behind our eyes. There, there is nothing poetic about the desperation a 12-year-old girl needs to feel to starve herself and cut her tears into her skin. Keep it moist with neosporin. Keep it wrapped until the morning. Avoid the sun or it will scar. Chin up, kid. You're gonna go far. That, that's all I was told. Not other ways to cope, not, not to cling on to hope, just how to keep up appearances so that nobody knew the terrible things that I would do. The, the entire youth is wasted. It, it's been so long for some of us that we've forgotten how carelessness tasted. There are so many things to see and so many places that so many children will never get to visit because they didn't get the help they silently begged for. The plea that God ignored. Oh, no, 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 he's not depressed. He's just bored. Oh, no, 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 he needs to go outside more. Oh, no, 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 it, 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 it's, it's just an attitude adjustment. <laughs> no, he just had a bad day. That's all that that meant. Listen to us before it's too late, making us feel alone only further seals our fate. On average, every day, 121 people die by suicide in America. For every one that succeeds, 12 others are hospitalized. Our youth is dying, our brothers are dying, our children are dying, and what are you doing to stop it? Broken, messy, lonely ones, raise your battle-scarred arms into fists and your voices into shouts. We will not be ignored. We will not let our flames fizzle out. There's no shame in needing help. Stop being afraid of standing out against the injustice our generation faces. Think of all the lovely new places there are to see and people there are to meet and songs there are to write. Don't forget that there is a light at the end of that dark, scary, lonely path you're on. Cross my heart and hope to live. Pray that I'll be able to forgive myself for what I've done in my past and, and show everyone I've got what it takes to last. Sometimes when you have a few moments alone, you have to dance. Dance your heart out. Dance until every muscle in your body is numb and the butterflies in your stomach flutter out of your mouth and dance with you. Dance and jump and sing along and smile until you can't breathe, you can't speak. It's much better to not be able to breathe from dancing and forgetting your worries through every step in song lyric than it is from sitting alone in silence. You don't have to be alone. I realize that I'm never truly alone. How could I be? I have Elton John, and Paul Anka and the police, for God's sakes. So, just get up. Take a breath. Dance and laugh for no reason at all. You're going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Just trust me on this one. Yeah. Go dance along. sit in this place 
high on hope. Maybe I'll get out tomorrow. Maybe I won't. Reminiscing on the times that this shit was rare. It's become a routine for me now, pulling out my hair. This stress is eating away at me bit by bit, being stuck in DT, it's making me sick. I used to be the child with parents so proud. To those parents abandoned me and forced me to be filled with doubt. Yeah, I may be tough. You may be too. You can only be tough for so long till you break through. I ran, left home, sick of being blamed. It was only then that I realized that I can no longer be tamed. Nowhere to turn, so I turned to that drug. Heroin. Being addicted sucks. Lucky for me, I wasn't addicted yet, but I knew if I kept doing it, it would be a threat. A threat to my life and, and everything I've got, so I had to make a choice. I chose to stop. I live under the wings of night with an ocean of black spangled with fire. I desire knowledge from the wings of night to learn. O oh, wise one, show me the light. And I moved out from under the wings of night. I moved out and into the halo of day. keeping the demons inside me temporarily at bay. At least I would say, I now live in the halo of day. My name means priceless. But, but really most of the time I feel so expendable. And it's a good thing that my spirit is so bendable because, because if it wasn't, if it, if it wasn't, it would have been pushed around too hard and it should be shattered by now. My favorite color is blue. It's the color of the sky. And it's the color of youth. And it tastes like sunshine. And it smells like you. The eyes are supposed to be windows and mine have a pastel ocean tinting that blurs and softens every sharp thing I see into beautiful dreams where love is the only motivation. <laughs> I have a scar on my arms. And sometimes, sometimes cheering and sometimes mocking, but always talking and screaming that I'm still here. I am still here. My hands are cold and tend to shake, but that has never stopped me from catching the snowflakes or holding a pen and starting again, or pulling the ripcord from the parachute of security that all of us build around ourselves. Social talking can be scary. I'm so lazy, so my legs, my legs are hairy. I may seem standoffish sometimes, but I'm just afraid that you secretly hate me. There are lots of things I've done and things that people have said, echoing like a crow croaking in my head. And some days it's too hard to get out of bed. But I firmly believe that people come and people leave for a reason. And even though the seasons can make me sad from some power that I, I can comprehend, I am stronger than a silly lack of sunshine. And it doesn't matter if I have anyone who is mine, because I know that at the end of the day, everything is fine. I still have my hands 
and I still have my heart. I still love the night, especially when it's dark. And I've messed up a lot. <laughs> but is there anyone who has not? My music is always too loud, and sometimes I think I'm too proud, but other times not enough. The balance is tough. Really tough. And the human embodiment of a gray area, drifting towards light and dark, but never staying long enough in either to make a mark. I think I'm searching for a color that's outside of white and black and gray, and the day I find it, the day I find it will be the day I stop feeling so restless. And no, my poems never rhyme. And I'm terrible at being on time. I'm always late, whether in making up my mind or showing up to class. I have a tendency to nap, and sometimes I feel like crap and I don't treat people right. And I lose track of the light inside of me. But my name means priceless. And I am. I am priceless. I'm priceless. I am priceless. I am priceless. I am priceless. I am Yo priceless. soy irreemplazable. I am priceless. Beautiful, messy ones. Like willow trees, sometimes bent, but never broken. With strong roots and unquenchable souls, drenched in rivers of emotion, full of the tides of life and love and purpose and truth. Keep growing, keep stretching, keep believing there is more you beautiful, messy one. Full of angst and anticipation. Full of secrets and truths. Like the moon, sometimes dark, but never invisible. Find the light you were told you lost. Burn bright and hot. Your passion is your purpose. Your pain is your potential my beautiful, messy ones, like willow trees, sometimes bent, but never broken. You beautiful, messy ones, like willow trees, sometimes bent, but never broken. Mm -hmm.